Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Review. In today's video, we are going to go over my top five pairs of sunglasses for summer. So the first pair here is going to be a pair of personal sunglasses, and the model number here is going to be the 8649. And these sunglasses have a very aviator looking style to them. They're going to have pilot shaped lenses, but they're going to have these absolutely beautiful Italian acetate frames, which look really good on the top of these sunglasses. They're going to be relatively lightweight. They're going to feel very good on the face because they feel Feature Persil's Meflecto stem system, which is going to help bend these sunglasses out to give a custom fit to any face. These frames are going to be made in Italy. They're going to sit here in the inner right temple of the sunglasses. And overall, it's an absolutely fantastic looking pair of sunglasses and definitely one of my favorites of 2019. As far as pricing goes, these personal sunglasses are going to run you around $400 and the price tag is definitely very steep, but these are definitely cheaper on Amazon. And I will have a link in the description down below where you guys can check out all these sunglasses on Amazon or on their respective websites. So next up we have the Sun God Sierras and these sunglasses are going to be much more practical than the personal sunglasses. These are going to run you a little over $100 directly from Sun God's website, but they do have a lifetime warranty, which means that you can can really throw them around, you can really beat them up and they're going to take that very well. So these sunglasses are going to be very durable and it's really cool about Sun God is you can actually completely customize every pair for free. So you can customize the lenses and you can also customize the temples and the frames, everything you can customize and that's really cool, especially considering their lower price tag. So these sunglasses are going to look really good on face and they actually do have very good coverage from the sun. Sun God's lenses are very good. The quality definitely reminds you of a pair of Maui Gym sunglasses and with the ability to customize them, I think they're definitely worth the money. Oh, and these Sungod sunglasses are also made in the United Kingdom. Next here we have a pair of Randolph Engineering P3 sunglasses, and Randolph Engineering is going to be a company that makes the frames in America, and they're going to say made in USA here in the inner right temple of these sunglasses. These are probably one of my favorite pair of round metal sunglasses. I personally like these frames a lot better than I do Ray-Ban's round metal frames. The lens quality, the frame quality, and everything about them seems to be just a little bit better than Ray-Ban's. These sunglasses are not going to offer quite as good coverage or practicality because there's going to be pretty big gaps to let sunlight in unprotected, but I think the look looks absolutely great. They do have all glass lenses and Randolph's frames are going to be dipped in 24 karat gold, so they're really going to pop and try and look really good on face. These sunglasses are going to cost you around $230 of polarized lenses, but again, they do have all glass lenses. Frames are going to be dipped in gold, and they're going to be a very, very sharp looking pair of sunglasses. All right, so next up we have a pair of Ray-Ban Wayfarers, but these are going to be a standard Wayfair. These are going to be the Wayfair Light Force. So these sunglasses are going to be extremely lightweight, and the model number of these are going to be the RB4195. So these sunglasses weigh next to nothing, even though they do have all glass lenses, that are polarized. These sunglasses are going to be made in Italy, and as far as look on face, they look really good. If you guys have ever held or worn a pair of original Ray-Ban Wayfarers, you guys know how heavy those sunglasses can be. They're just big, bulky. These sunglasses are going to share almost the exact same style, but they're going to be very lightweight and very comfortable to wear, and that makes them one of my favorite Wayfarer style pair of sunglasses. So these sunglasses are going to be made by Ray-Ban, and they're going to be made in Italy, so they're going to be an Italian pair of sunglasses, and they're gonna say they here in the inner right temple of the sunglasses. Again, very good pair of sunglasses, definitely one of my favorite Wayfair styles. All right, and last but not least, we have a pair of John Vervedo sunglasses. And the model number of these are going to be the U602 sunglasses. And these sunglasses look really good on face. I love the fact that they only have one single bridge up top with these round lenses. They're going to be very comfortable on face. Unfortunately, they are going to have plastic lenses. And the quality of these lenses aren't going to be as good as any of the other ones shown on the table. But I think as far as looks go, they look really good. They have some really nice metal etching through the clear acetate frames that looks really good on face. And these are definitely a pair of sunglasses that really just jump out at people and they have very bold styling that again, I do think looks really good. These sunglasses are going to cost you around $250 as well. And these sunglasses are actually going to be made in Japan. And again, they're gonna sit here in the inner right temple. And they also do have polarized lenses. I'm sure most people don't think of John Rivados and sunglasses in the same sentence, but they actually do make very high quality sunglasses that are going to be made in Japan. Well, that's about it for this video. Let me know which pair you guys think looks best in the comment section down below. I definitely don't have a favorite 
and of course this list was not in any particular order but I do like all these sunglasses and I think these are all going to be some of the best sunglasses you can get for summer 2019 but that's all I got for you guys in this video if you enjoyed it make sure to give me a big thumbs up down below if you guys have any sunglasses you want me to review make sure to leave a comment in the comment section down below asking me to review any pair but again that's all I got for you guys in this video thank you all so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one